Ambassadors, uh, your presence here is indeed a matter of, of great satisfaction, uh, great privilege. Uh, we are all here greatly inspired by one man amongst us, and that is Dr. Farooq Abdullah. Um, he, he epitomizes struggle, and uh, as you speak of as you speak of how much your people have suffered, how much uh, how much tragic tragedy there has been in your lives of your people, uh, I believe there is great inspiration to be had from from a person that we all admire, but that we all are inspired by, Dr. Farooq Abdullah. But amongst us, there are also some great fighters. Chose to sit at the back, Harsh uh, Great fighters amongst us. Uh, fight with words, not with weapons. They turn words into wor words into into uh, their method of speaking up for freedom and rights. Uh, I want to just briefly say something on behalf of all of us here, and I hope I share everyone's sentiments as we gather here. For us, Palestine is not an issue of religion alone. And I don't think the Palestinians have ever seen itself themselves as uh, uh, fighting for a religion. Religion is part of our lives. And whatever we do, wherever we do, no matter which religion we follow, Islam, Hinduism, Judaism, uh, Christianity, Christianity, Sikhism, whatever we do has a touch of religion somewhere because religion is part of our identity. And religion is what makes us feel truly and fully human. And it is our great fortune that every religion that we are familiar with in our country, certainly, and for the rest of the world as well, there is no religion that understood properly speaks of violence as a way of life. It speaks of camaraderie. They speak of humanity. They speak of love and compassion. They speak speak of reaching out to human beings who are helpless, they speak of nurturing children, they speak of protecting the dignity of women, they speak of giving everybody an opportunity in life. Every religion has this and this for us as a plural society in India is a matter of great pride. But we have from the time of our independence, from the time of our independence, we've had special feelings for the people of Palestine, and I, I have uh, good reason to endorse that and to underscore that, that we have a special feeling of Palestine, as we did for a large number of people in Africa and Asia who were seeking freedom and self-expression. And we stood by them, and it was Mahatma Gandhi who said to us that we will not be complete in our freedom till we have been able to secure freedom for all humanity. And that is the spirit in which we reached out to Palestine. It's certainly true that developments that happen in the world, developments that took place in the world, made many, many people, friends of Palestine, friends of, friends of Palestinians, make accommodation and adjustment with ground reality. Reluctantly, under persuasion, under, under some form, under some form of pressure, but they made some, some accommodation with developing reality. And perhaps India did that too. But without, without compromising even an iota of our commitment for the freedom of the people of Palestine and the dignity of Palestine. So you mean so much to us. You have always, always meant so much to us. And we feel very sad that we cannot do more for you then we are we are we could be expected to do that's the sadness that touches our heart and therefore in our prayers you are there constantly and whatever we believe we believe you deserve we will stand by it if in no other way by showing a gathering where the best minds and best hearts and the best people of our country will come and say we stand by you palestine now, some people did say just now in one of the introductions, etc., that no one is speaking for you. That's not true. I think if you look across the globe, the streets 
of the Western capitals are full of people who are pouring out with compassion and support for the people of Palestine. And remarkable thing is that there is no distinction amongst the young people who are coming out of religion. Every religion is represented amongst people who have come out in support of you. And if we haven't come out in support of you, to the same extent have come out in small gatherings, in small meetings, in small confabulations, it is because we have been in the last few years preoccupied with many issues of our own, many issues that we are trying to resolve, but we feel sometimes they become too large for us. And therefore, maybe our people often think, let's do something to bring light in our midst before we talk of taking light somewhere else. But we remain committed to you, and that's the reason why IMCR has gathered all of you here today. This may not be the last time that we will have to gather. This may not be enough and adequate for support in terms of the voice that carries across the borders of the world to be able to be able to emphasize that we stand by you in your moment of tragedy, in your moment of pain, in your moment of loss. It is, of course, centered upon your soul. It is centered on your people, but this is a loss and tragedy for all humanity, not you alone. And we still don't know after so many weeks, we don't know what the resolution can be. There are clear statements of intent by many, many countries across the world and over the periods, over the decades of solution, which can only be in the form of a two-state solution. There has to be a neighbor existence, neighborhood existence of the people of Palestine and the people of Israel. And there are people fortunately today in Israel who support this. There are many people who don't support it. There are many people who show maps in which, in which Palestine does not figure. But there are many people who open their hearts to say that Palestine as an equal state with Israel will exist. This is this is, if you like, a dream today. It is a dream today, but if we stop dreaming, if we stop short of trying to fulfill our dreams, we will have done a great, a great misadventure as far as humanity is concerned. So this is how we want you to see. Tell us what more we can do. Tell us how more we can proceed to continue to support you in this in this action. And we are. We are not saying that anybody, anybody else is beyond the pale of our reach. If our words can persuade anyone that is today not available to us, our words must reach them. And we can, all we can say to them is, to idhar udhar ke na baat kar, ye bata ke kafle kyon lute, hame reh zano se garaj nahi teri reh bari ka sawal hai. And this goes out to the top leaders of the world, top leaders of the world who speak of democracy, who speak of freedom, who speak of justice, who speak of equality, who speak of, of essential humanitarian, humanitarian commitment. And what has the world asked for today? We've only asked for human, humanitarian ceasefire. Humanitarian ceasefire is not the end of the story. It is the beginning of a new chapter in the story. So much more will have to be done unimaginably as to what all will be necessary to give people just an iota of assurance, iota of peace, iota of comfort, and an iota of, of satisfaction that they can live their lives without the fear of bombs, without the fear of missiles, without the fear of, of a, a very, very strong army against them. Maybe if we succeed in this, maybe we will write a new chapter in the world's history. Maybe people will learn from success that we must gain. There is no option but to succeed in bringing peace to Palestine. If we don't succeed, hope will be wiped out from the world. So let us today, all of us, pray and hope that we will succeed, that we are determined to succeed. Hum log sab ahed karein. कि इसमें हम कामयाब होंगे ना कामयाबी का आज हमारे सामने कोई सवाल कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है 
अगर हम यहाँ ना कामयाब हो गए तो फिर हम जिंदगी में कहीं और कामयाब कैसे होंगे ना हम आंख मूंद लें ना हम आंख बंद करें ना चेहरा मोड़ लें क्योंकि ये लड़ाई आपकी नहीं है ये तकलीफ आपकी नहीं है ये तकलीफ हम सब की है इन्हीं अल्फाज के साथ मैं आप सबका शुक्रगुजार हूँ आप लोग यहाँ आए मौजूद हुए और आपने फिलिस्तीन को ताउन ना दिया है और यकीन फिलिस्तीन को ताउन देना ह्यूमैनिटी को इंसानियत को ताउन देना है बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अगर आपने अभी तक हमारा चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब करें और घंटी का बटन बिल्कुल भी दबाना ना भूलें ताकि सभी लेटेस्ट खबरें पहुंच सकें आप पे सबसे पहले